Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial. Today, we are going to create falling frame slideshow, like this. So let's get started, first open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then create one more composition, this is our background comp. Then drag texture image into the timeline, resize according to composition. Then apply curves effects, and make your curves like this. Now create a new solid layer, change color black, then select ellipse tool, and double click on ellipse to make perfect ellipse, check mask inverted, and increase the mask feather around 650 pixels, and mask expansion around 55. Then select the mask and resize it little bit. Now go to the main comp and drag BG comp into the timeline. Then select photo frame PNG image. And drag over the comp icon. So it's perfectly make a composition according to our photo frame PNG. Let's rename it, photo frame 1. Download footage link in description. Now create one new composition. This is our image placeholder comp. Change width and height around 700 pixels. Now import your image and video into the timeline. Resize according to composition. Then go to photo frame 1 composition, and drag image placeholder 1 comp into the timeline, under the photo frame PNG. Resize according to photo frame PNG. Perfect. Now add some text here. So create a new composition. It's called, text 1 and change the height around 80 pixels and width around 500 pixels then type your text now go to photo frame 1 comp and drag text 1 comp into the timeline I think we need to change text color perfect it's look good to me. Now go to main comp, and drag photo frame 1 comp into the timeline. Now we need to duplicate this photo frame 1 comp multiple times. I have 7 images so I am duplicate this photo frames 1 comp 7 times, you are free to use any amount of images. Same with text 1 comp also, if you want to add text on your all photo frames comp. So you have to duplicate this text comp same amount of numbers images you have. Do the same with image placeholder comp. Select all image placeholder comp, and drag into an folder. So that we can easily find it. Do the same with photo frame comp and text comp. Now drag all photo frame comp into the timeline. Then open photo frame 2 comp. Now we need to replace this image placeholder 1 comp with second image placeholder comp. So open image placeholder folder, hold out and drag second image placeholder comp over the first image placeholder comp. Then open it, and change your image.
here you can see the changes. Now do the same with all photo frame comp. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After replace all image placeholder comp, select all photo frames comp layer and convert into 3D layer. Now we need to place all photo frame. It all depends on you, how can you place your photo frames comp. You can also rotate the layer. You can move X Y Z position and rotation randomly. I hope you understand what I want to say. So I am moving this part little fast. So that you don't have to wait. The more the image you use, the better it will look. After place all images it looks like that. Now we need to animate this, so create a new camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Open camera option. Turn on depth of field, change blur level around 200%. Also increase the aperture. And also increase the focus distance. You can change aperture according to your preference. Now add a keyframe on point of interest, position and orientation. Then go to one second forward, and select second photo frame layer. Then select unified camera tool. And you can change orbit camera and XYZ track tool by pressing C. It takes time so I am moving this part little faster, so that you don't have to wait. You can also change the rotation of photo frame layer any time if you want. Perfect. Now add a keyframe on orientation, then go to around 2 to 3 second forward and change the orientation little bit. If you think our first animation looks slow, so you can move these keyframes any time. Then go to our orientation keyframe, and paste point if interest and position keyframes. Perfect. Now again go to few frame forward. And select the third photo frame layer. Press C for camera tool, and move the third photo frame center of the composition. Then move the orbit of the camera and also change the Z position. You need just play with camera tool. I am just showing you an example. Now go to again 2 to 3 second forward and change the orientation little bit. And also paste the point of interest and position keyframes. Then go to few frame forward and select fourth photo frame. 
select camera tool and move the photo frame center of the composition. And adjust your photo frame according to your choice. Do the same with all photo frame layers. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust all photo frames layer, select all point of interest and position keyframes, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now we want to add wiggle expression in our camera, so create a new null layer. Then parent camera with null layer. Press P for position. Also convert null layer into 3D layer. Then hold Alt and click on stopwatch, and add wiggle expression. Wiggle open bracket 3 commas 10 bracket close. You can change the wiggle amount according to your preference. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add some color gradient, so create a new solid layer and apply 4 color gradient effects. Change mode normal to screen. You can change your color if you want. Move the center point far from the composition. And also change the opacity around 30%. Color gradient is all depend on you, how you want your composition look like. Now add wiggle expression on opacity. Perfect. Now add some lens distortion effect, so create a new adjustment layer, and search optics compensation. Check on reverse lens distortion, and field of view around 30. Then create one more adjustment layer and search noise effect. And amount of noise around 2%. Now create a new solid layer. This is our particle layer. This is an optional effects. If you not want to make particle effect you can leave this. Now move the particle layer just above the background layer. And search CC particle world effect. Turn off the grid. And decrease the birth rate 0.6. And increase the longevity around 5 second. Open producer and change radius XYZ around 1. Then open physics, and change velocity 0, gravity point 0, 0, 001, and extra minus 24. Now open particle, and change particle type shaded sphere. Size variation 100%, max opacity 100%, and also change the birth and death color. And change particle layer mode normal to add. I think our particle looks so big, so you can decrease the birth size and death size little bit. Then open opacity map and make your opacity map like this. Also decrease the particle layer opacity. Perfect, it's look good to me. 
Now apply glow effect. And change glow threshold around 10%. And glow radius 50. You can also decrease the particle layer opacity around 20%. Perfect, our animation has done. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.